Hi guys, the topic of this video is package building. We need from time to time knowledge to build something. In this case, I've, uh, I've booted up with this particular setup and I'd like to have a right mouse click on any of my GitHub's projects. I'd like to do Giddy up. So Giddy up is a way to take a look at um, well, all the pushes, the commits we've done on the internet, on our project. And it's super interesting, right? Giddy up, there's also Git find here available on the machine. How do we build a package like Giddy up? So on Arclinux Nemesis, github.com, Eric Dubois, Arclinux Nemesis, you'll find the folder personal in the settings folder in Ubuntu, chatwm, uh, build a uh, setup build install gitiup.sh let's have a look so that's the script let's uh, open it up with something dark sublime text or set default first and then sublime text then we see this voila hide so i had to figure out what do we need for this application what packages do we want so it's a workflow video. Let's do Control Alt F. It's gonna load. Oh, just that. Good. So <coughs> that's the um, the GitHub from Murmula, right? Murmula. Do we can we say it's differently pronounced correctly? Not sure. Munich, so Germany. And that's where this code is. Basically, it's a fork. It says so somewhere here. GitHub is a continuation of the Git ahead client, which we have hosted on the Arclinux repos. And now we have also GitHub on Arclinux. And can I have this on Ubuntu, right? Actually, it was the other way around. First, I tried it on Ubuntu, said, okay, looks good. And then I've just used Yay or Paru, and I built it from the AOR. So you read a little bit first, um, FlatHub was not available and not that I wanted it either. So I wanted to try out, can I build this thing? What dependencies do I need? Including included dependencies, these guys, CMark, Git, etc. And I started reading, testing and installing, copy pasting basically, right? Maybe we should move this guy to number one. So I was looking at code. Here you see submodule init. Here you see submodule init. So this is my way of working. First, make sure everything is there, getting dependencies. So that I figured it out. Didn't know what it was, what the name is. Everything is different in uh, Ubuntu as uh, opposed to Arch. So then if I figured that out, well, the, the thing I did or tried and failed, you can do a sudo and then um, apt search might help and search something. And it's going to look where is the word built anywhere in an application. So you, sometimes you get a hit and say, okay, it has to be that. Otherwise, you do whatever message it throws back at you when you try to build it. You just type Maybe it's still in there in the search somewhere. Ubuntu, I guess it's already gone, but Ubuntu and then some kind of error or something, something that came up and look for it. And that was as simple as, as that. And they said, okay, you need this, you need that, you need this. These guys, I need it. Ninja, I need it as well. Ninja build, not Ninja, right? It's all about naming conventions. And here we start with this line. So that means we're already here. Then on Windows you do that, Mac you do that, Mac you do that, Linux you do this. So that's this thing. And then <coughs> basically I go back to the top level here, which is I think, uh, yeah, is needed. Because here we're going deep down into a dependency. So I go back to the top level, which it's explained here a little bit. So here's the ninja. 
Um, pop, pop, pop. So flat pack for me didn't work. Don't want it either. But this is for Arch guys. So just yay and Paru. That's good enough for us. I guess here we are, right? Configure, build. So you need to go back to the root. Back to root means go back here. And then we see the copy paste from here. What we're missing is an afterwards ninja. And then he's gonna, well, the output is there. There is a, an executable. And the executable goes to user bin. Then we go back to the top. And I copy paste it, and that's an interesting bit. Um, where did I find it? Yeah, I found it in AOR GitHub. GitHub, right? If somebody somewhere made a package build like here for Arch, I can read this, right? I can also see here, um, well, what he's doing, what is copy pasting to where. So we have the possibility to just copy paste, but I think, I don't think it was here. So you look for sources, ah, maybe GitHub, Git, maybe different guy, right? GitHub, Git, different package file, that one. View package build, yes, that's the one. So what it says here, you need to be able to read this a little bit. What it says here is at this point when I was having an end result already, the packages need to go to the right place. So here you're basically telling go copy the GitHub executable to user bin. And the links are never, never mind, never did it. A license don't care because it's local it's just for me that I'm building so hey and here we have the resources RSRC and I've copy pasted this thing and also these guys here and instead of install I say copy copy the GitHub desktop file so we have something in user share applications and just release out leave out the variables that I use in Arch because basically all we do is copy paste a file to a place, a file to a place, images to folders, and these are all the folders that we have, and that's it, right? So if you get, if you can read and understand what it says here, you can just translate it to copy, and verbose means give me a line, so I know that it's successfully copied over, it's not needed, but. Uh, certainly interesting if you are trying to build something right and the end result is that we have something in the user share applications if we press ctrl D we have at least something in a menu whatever system you're on and eh, Mateo or XFC whatever system you're on is gonna look at user share applications if there is a desktop file it will be launched so that's um, how I did everything I guess but it's a line per line show it's not that it is immediately written it is you start with with um, actually with this and then you discover this the the build is not successful right and then you go this the build is not successful here we're gonna get errors then I figured out what I needed so there comes an error, you copy paste it, Ubuntu error, and then they say you need to have Qt base 5, dev, you need to have this and this and this, and just kept on adding things. We could maybe look at the package build here as well, if never did that actually, but um, Ninja is here, CMake is here, Git is here, and Qt5 translations, but naming uh, is different. So. That's something to look out for. What is the exact name on the distro you're on? Because we're just talking about building things in general. It doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, it always matters, but um, it's Linux. And Ninja is Ninja, and CMake is CMake. But yes, there are differences for sure. But there you go. Maybe if you're on Ubuntu, 
now you can install uh, Giddy up and as a next well as a, as a follow-up basically what I've done as well is say look if I'm gonna install ChatWM on Ubuntu I want the right mouse click to work so this one needs to work and that's this file Control find git up well all I've done is add uh, changed added these lines here by which I can just do right mouse click and then it pops up so this file needs to go to Eric Control H config Tonar. that's it I just copy paste it over here then log out login or Tonar minus Q in a terminal and then you have right mouse click your GitHub. so that's how I played around with uh, how to install Giddy up and I'm sure there are other ways to undo it and um, that's the fun right you can as long as it works uh, is the, the I guess the ultimate goal and voila hope this video helps a little bit to understand how it all gets built but it's a gradual process it's not gonna work immediately and um, the fun is the analyzing bit what next what's the problem what's the issue what can I do that's the fun being a Sherlock Holmes Cheers.